Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to do a drugstore haul. Over the weekend, I did a lot of shopping, trying to do a drugstore, get ready with me, and just all kinds of stuff. I have one product left for that haul, which you will uh, see at a later date. Um, but first I'm gonna do my drugstore haul. This is a mixture of, um, I went to Target and Walgreens. I kind of did a whole mixture of shopping this weekend. I also ordered some high-end products too, but those will be here in a few weeks. Um, so let's get started. Sorry, I look like a hot mess today. I've just been, it's been a stressful weekend. My face has been breaking out. I think the, um, cleanser I'm using because I've been going more natural and cruelty free I think the cleanser that I'm using is really doing a number on my face so but the first product I bought was the elf beautifully precise air blush blender brush I wanted to try these brushes I've heard such great reviews on them Jessica Braun from jam beauty 89 has raved about these brushes and I thought you know what maybe I should buy one and try they had the smaller ones but I feel like I have so many small brushes that this one, I wanted to try this one out first before I decided to go ahead and um, buy more of them. So I'm gonna give this one a try. I'm really looking forward to that because in my makeup collection, I always say you can never have enough brushes. Um, another product I bought was the Pixie by Petra foundation brush. Um, I ordered my, uh, Wonder Woman Luxie brushes and I love them but I have not yet brought myself to use them because they're so pretty and I know that that sounds crazy and wacky but I just can't use them so the flat kabuki brush for that brush was going to be my foundation brush I was going to use but I saw this one instead and thought you know what maybe I should buy it and see if I would like it so I'm gonna give this one a try and I'll touch base with you or maybe I'll use it Maybe I'll use these products also in my one brand get ready with me drugstore. So be on the lookout for those um, Another product I got was this elf primer mist now. I tried this last night um, Not on my face. Um, I tried it on my arm just to kind of see how it goes and I really do like this mist the only thing I don't really like about it is the smell but um that's only just one time using it I want to give it a couple more tries before I decide and say hey I don't like the spray so we'll see about that um the next products I bought were the Pexi the Pixie by Petra um, I bought the hydrating milky mist which I've heard good things about. Um, and I'm not sure if it was Jessica Braun that raved about this product or if I saw it on another beauty YouTuber, but um, some people have gotten mixed reviews from what I've heard. Um, the ones I have seen, they've given great reviews on it. I actually sprayed this to see what it smells like. This smells amazing. It smells really amazing. I'm looking forward to using that and the other spray I bought was the vitamin wake me up mist a uh, follower on Instagram I follow recommended using this in the morning to kind of wake you up and give you that hydration and I used it this morning and I'm gonna tell you it will it will blah blah it woke me up this morning being up since 730 with my daughter and school and craziness this stuff's amazing so if you're I recommend if you're low on sleep buy this use it because it will give you that refreshness that you need to kind of get your, your started for the day and then of course we all go to caffeine next <laughs> so yeah um another product I bought was the natural glow face palette beautifully better by elf people have given mixed reviews about this because of the texture and the swatching. I personally haven't opened it. We can open it now and give it a try. I personally, um, I go by swatches sometimes, but of course, as all YouTubers say, it's their own skin type. Now for me, I have very dry skin. 
like up in my t-zone right here and in this area i get severely dry and right here is a like a minimal dry but then like on the outside of me i really dry and i do have a little rosacea going on um so it just varies on your skin type so and you know because a product may work for me may not necessarily work for you and vice versa so as you can see the colors are very beautiful sorry for the blurring of the mirror the colors are very beautiful i'm very i'm loving this color right here this color is amazing so let's swatch these i'm only going to swatch two of them so the two that I swatched, or I have, was the two top ones. Sorry again for the blinding of the mirror. And you can't really see them. Yeah, these are going to have to be buildable colors. Like here is the top one right here, and then here is the peachy one. So it could be a preference of swatching. Like I said, I will have to try these more to kind of give you my full opinion of the swatches or not um maybe this could be one um i do have another video going up this week it's going to be my june um hits and misses um maybe i'll try that one not june sorry oh my july hits and misses i've got to get july hits and misses up um that's going to go up this week so you will see that video this week and um another product i bought i bought a couple more i've got one, two, four more products. Four more products and we're done. Um, the next uh, product I got was I just got a simple e.l.f. blending brush. For some reason, my daughter has gotten off with a couple of my blending brushes. So um, I tend to get picky about my brushes. I'm more high end. I'm all about Luxie brushes. So when I do my eyes, it's all about Luxie, Luxie, Luxie. So... Um, I'm hoping maybe here in the next month or so I'll get another Luxie brush in a subscription box or maybe I'll just bite the bullet and buy one um, because um, all of my brushes I have either received as a gift um, from a friend or family member or I've gotten them in my subscription boxes and I bought my Wonder Woman brushes and that's another thing I have five beauty subscription boxes a month and usually in two out of the five, I get brushes, which is great because you can never have enough brushes. So I'm excited to try this. I've never really tried the e.l.f. brushes, um, eyeshadow brushes. I've always done the e.l.f. face brushes, like the powder brush that came in the black set. That that brush is amazing. That's my ride or die brush. Like, it started to break and I was hurrying and fixing it because that is my ride or die brush. You can never go wrong with that brush. Um... Another product I bought is from Essence. Um, I do have a couple of their palettes, but I wanted to try this. Um, I got the Long Lasting um, Essence uh, Eye Pencil in Hot Chocolate. This swatch is amazing. And I got it because my eyebrows aren't like everyone else's eyebrows. Something happened to me in high school where now only part of my eyebrows come in like this. It's I got made fun of it, and I'm sure I'll get criticism for it because now I'm on the internet. Um, but I use um, brushes, pencils like these to fill them in. I also do still do like brow gel and brow gel to also hold my color in, and I'll show that with you as a get ready with me. So that's what this is for. Um, the one I always used to use was a Revlon one, but since I'm trying to go more in a cruelty-free direction, I don't get Revlon or CoverGirl like I used to. Um, another one I really do love that I think will be my ride or die is the ColourPop one. Um, I bought it a few months ago and I used it um, getting ready about a week ago. I used it and loved it because even though I'm going more in the cruelty free direction, even though I still have a lot of stuff in my collection that's not cruelty free yet, I'm going to use it up because I paid the money for it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then once the product is gone, of course, at that point in time, I won't repurchase it. I'll find alternatives. And Essence is a good alternative to me because, again, I'll swatch it for you. This swatch is amazing. That's just like with two swoops. It's amazing. So I'm kind of glad I found that one. And the next product is um, I brought brush cleansing wipes. I reached out 
and tweeted Casey Holmes. She used this really cool cleaning brush. It came in a tin and I can't find it. So I don't know if she bought it at Sephora or if she bought it at Ulta. She never did tweet me back about it. So I kind of gave up on asking. Um, Jessica Braun raved about these. She uh, did a video where she was going on a trip out of, the country, out of the country and she raved about these, about just doing them because I do deep clean my brushes. I do do the baby soap. Um, if I don't have a beauty blend or a beauty blender block or the beauty blending like shampoo for those, I do use baby shampoo to clean my brushes. I clean my brushes um, once every other week. I try to. I don't wear a lot of makeup right now in the summer because for some reason in the summer I break out like crazy. And of course, since I've been doing different stuff with my skincare and getting ready, my face is broken out. So I haven't really worn a lot of makeup this week, this last week. Um, but I'm anxious to try these because I really want to know if they work. So I'm really excited. And I will give you guys a heads up on these in case, uh, you know, because I know a lot of YouTubers out there or a lot of people watching YouTube videos, they don't have the money to buy expensive brush, clean brush cleaner. But DIY, you can go to the dollar store, buy like a dollar shampoo, do your brushes that way deep clean, buy these. I think I only spent $3 on these. To just spot clean and go about it so these are really good I'm hoping and the last product um, for this haul was the pixie it's Judy time pixie palette um I like supporting youtubers I follow Judy on my Facebook um she's amazing and this palette really spoke to me because I love a lot of warm tones and as you can tell these are a lot of warm tones and I really like that because I do like the pop of color every now and then. I like to spruce it up, spraz it up, you know, do all that. But I really do like these. These really spoke to me because especially with fall coming, I can't wait to try these out. Let's swatch a few of these. Um, I'm going to swatch these two right here. This one right here and then the one next to it right there. So I'm going to swatch those two. Ooh, these are really creamy and buttery. Like, these are amazing. These are the two swatches right here. This was the color right next to the dark one. And their names are Good Morning and Brick. Or it could be Honey Bear and Brick. So it could be one of those. But these are simply amazing. And they do look like buildable colors. And they're not really patchy at all. So I really do like this. So I can't wait to use this palette. All right, guys. That was it for my drugstore haul. I will have my NYX haul up. I'm actually doing that video next. But you guys probably won't see that video until um, maybe Thursday. And then, of course, I will be filming my uh, July hits and misses. I do have a few hits. And some of the misses I'll probably have to do screenshots and explain it to you because... I've been on a declutter kick, and any misses I had, I already got rid of, but we'll see. But anyway, I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. Also, the huge giveaway. That's still going on, guys. Come on. Get people subscribed. Leave a comment. Remember, there's two grand prizes so far. $250 gift card to Sephora, $100 gift card to Ulta. So please like, subscribe before you leave, and thank you for joining me. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.